Hi guys, it's Emily from Once A Pre Girl here, back with another video for you all. This is a grocery haul video, you can probably tell by the title, but I figured I'd also warn you, this is a bit of a long one. I talked about some of the ingredients, why I got them, why I prefer them, what cheaper options are, stuff like that. And we had an incident with the pantry and weevils, so you can see how empty we are at the moment. Oh, there's my rice my rice thing bowl. <laughs> you can see how empty we are at the moment and we need to restock on some of these things but also I needed some more containers for my pantry after the weevils. Nothing's going back in here without a proper container. There it is. All right. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, to like, comment, subscribe. Click the little notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. And I will catch you later in the video. All right, so here it is. It is super expensive this week. I did have to do to buy a bunch of stuff that I shouldn't have had to shouldn't have had to buy this week after the weevils incident. If you guys don't know, you missed the video. I bought a pack of flour from a major supermarket chain. I won't say which one. I brought it home and it had, was full of weevils, but I didn't no until I'd already put it into the cupboard. I don't buy much flour because I'm gluten free so it's literally just for the pancakes for the kids and hubby on a Sunday or Saturday morning and so I've gotten out of the habit of freezing it and I just put it into airtight containers so that nothing happens to it but it was super late I was super tired so I, and the baby needed me so I just threw it in the cupboard and I went to do it the next day but they'd already infested my entire cupboard so I've had to throw out a lot of stuff. No, I was going to say 90%, but not quite that much. But anything that was open and anything that obviously had weevils. So I've had to buy a bunch of stuff like cereal and I had to get a bunch of containers. I still don't have enough containers, but I needed to get small containers for the cereal and stuff so that it doesn't get reinfested because I've cleaned everything out. I've thrown out everything. but And I've put bay leaves on every shelf. Thank you for that tip. But I still... Like, I'm, I'm, there's still a few hanging around, so everything's going into airtight containers. I didn't have enough, so I had to grab some. So those are an investment. I'll have them for ages, forever, whatever. But that obviously made this really expensive. So let's go over to the fruit shop first. I just got a few things because I still will need to get some more fruit, actual fruit, on the weekend. But I wanted to go to Woolworths, and there's a good fruit shop next to the Woolworths, so I grabbed a few things while they're on a good special. So I went to Callumvale Fruit World. Here's the receipt. The coriander was $2.50. The lettuce, the fancy one at the back there was 99 cents. I'm gonna plant that after we've eaten it. The two lettuces here were 99 cents each, so I grabbed two of those. The tomatoes were three for five, so I grabbed those for the baby. You can see he's already been in them. Uh, the blueberries were $3.99 for a 500 gram box. 99 cents for those bananas there on clearance. Sweet potatoes were 99 cents a kilo and I ended up getting these three small ones which worked out to be 455 at 69 cents a kilo. Oh, turns out they were marked as 99 but these came through as 69, awesome. And the pumpkin was 5 cents a kilo so I got two small ones at 1.8 kilos and paid 9 cents for those two pumpkins. They'll keep in my cupboard for a while. I was gonna do some pumpkin soup and some other stuff with that. Maybe some more risotto, chop some up. I've got plenty of frozen sweet potato, but I don't have any frozen pumpkin, so I can do that. I got the coriander to have with um, some chicken meals this week. I haven't picked up the chicken yet. It wasn't a great deal. I still have to go to the butchers. So I'm definitely way over budget this week, but I wasn't expecting to have to buy the containers or replace a bunch of stuff. It's completely out of cheese, so I got a cheese for $7.70 and a pizza cheese for, uh, I think, about $7.50 again. I got these reusable bags because my kids have been throwing out all my sandwich bags, and that really bothers me. I usually wash them, reuse them, so I wanted to get these ones so that the kids, and map them with their names, so that the kids take their popcorn most days of the week, or their sandwiches, stuff like that they will bring these home because I'm sick of them just going and getting a sandwich bag, taking it to school, throwing it in the bin, coming home and making more, getting another sandwich bag. And they'll throw all of their like fruits and stuff in the little sandwich bags rather than using all the containers we have. So I'm gonna stop buying 
sandwich bags or at least I'm going to um, I wanted to stop buying them and then if I have these for meats and stuff for the freezer because that's what I use my sandwich bags for the most I've got these containers this small one was nine this one was 10 I was looking at the other, another one that was these that were 950 and 1050 but I went with these um, for this one's going to be for the wheat bix this one, I can't remember what I got it for. I think it was for my potato flour or my corn flour or something like that. Um, I'll have a look. I did have a plan. I've forgotten though. And another cereal container, which was $10 uh, for cereal. So that because we buy cereal when it's cheap, I tend to buy all my cereal in one go for the month or for a couple months. And then once we get low, I stock up again rather than buying it each week. It just makes more sense to me that I know that we have cereal for the month. I also got, for the last two weeks of school, I got some of these. These are on special. The kids love these. These were $2.25, I believe, or $2.75. And so that's three days each for two kids. So last two weeks of school, I got some apples for the end of uh, the weekend and early next week. I got some lemons because my kids like to have lemon on their green apples. I got some chicken kievs for hubby and the kids. They were one fifty each. So I grabbed five. That's two for hubby and one for each kid. Um, really, it'll be half for the baby and my big kid will have one and a half. I got a clearance coleslaw because it was on clearance and that'll be part of my lunch today. I got some tinned passion fruit pulp because passion fruit isn't... I can't find it at the shops at the moment. The only ones I did find were moldy. So I grabbed some cans of passion fruit that I'll stick away for the pavlova for Christmas. I got a thing of tuna because we're going to do tuna um, sushi balls, bowl, balls and um, just sushi, tuna sushi. Uh, kids love that and it's super easy. It's just tuna, kewpie mayo and some salt and some pepper if you want it. So easy, so good. Um, that's $3.40, $3.40 now. It used to be like $3.00. I got a lactose-free milk for my girlfriend when she comes over, which is $1.70. I got a clearance uh, chocolate and strawberry oats, which was $2.73. You can see over there, that's just my recycling. That's all the stuff I was, I've had to throw out. I had to take everything out of its boxes as well because I'm told they can live in the boxes. So that's just the recycling needs to go out. It's not just super messy. <laughs> um, we have a rice, crispy rice pops. It's the Woolworths brand. We have a rainbow rings, which is the Woolworths brand of Fruit Loops. Uh, those are a treat. They'll probably be for school holidays. And then I have a 1.2 kilo thing of the Woolworths brand of Wheat Bix because I literally just bought a new box before the Weevils. But those are coming into that container. Uh, these were $4.50, I believe. Uh, and these were all about the $3.20-ish mark. We have 450 for the milk. We have 215 for the juice at the back there. We have one thing of eggs from Woolworths, which was 430. They don't um, have the cheaper ones anymore. They just have these ones. And then I went to the Asian shop, which I'll get into in a minute. I didn't bother looking there for eggs first because the last couple of times they've been more than Woolies. But these were 378 this week, so I grabbed a packet there can never have too many eggs we go through them like they're going we're going out of fashion 224 the capsicum if you haven't heard me tell you this before this is such a good deal it's 500 grams of tri-colored capsicum so it's all three colored capsicums 500 grams for two dollars 20 which means for a kilo it's 440 so good I can't get capsicums for less than like eight dollars a kilo up to fifteen dollars a kilo at the moment even at the fruit shop have, I always grab these when they have them in stock. They don't have a lot of them ever at any shop I go to. So I try to pick up one every time I go if it's there. It's just such a good deal. Can't beat that deal. Same with if you're trying to be uh, looking for cheap options. $3 for a kilo of winter veggies. This Bell Farms, they're really nice. They're nice and chunky um, vegetables. They're, they're just really, really good. They're pre these are both premium products for super cheap. So $3, $2.20 buy them. Um, baking paper, I have silicon ones, but I also like baking paper for lining um, certain dishes and stuff like that. I'm completely out. So I managed, I got a 40 meter one for $7.50 on special. I don't get the cheap brand of baking paper because I have had too many things ruined, uh, but it was 
40 for a 20, 20 meter, or it was 750 for a 40 meter, so I grabbed this one. I got these turkey wing pieces. We're gonna do like a little Thanksgiving meal for a bit of fun. And it was $9 a kilo and it was $14.78. I usually buy turkey from my butcher. They haven't had it lately. If there's a shortage or something happening going on. So I found this wasn't too bad of a deal, so I grabbed that. Um, I have wipes at home, but there was none in the car. The kids are taking them all out of the car. And my baby had been into the cherry tomatoes and had a banana at the free fruit for kids for Woolworths. Another pro tip, uh, every time you go, get each, piece, uh, each kid a piece of fruit or even two. Sometimes they'll be like, hey, go back and get another one if you're still in there shopping. Um, it's one more thing you don't have to buy. The kids love it. They get excited. Uh, but I had to get these because I had no wipes on me and he was absolutely covered in banana and cherry tomatoes. So this was $2.20, but that's okay gonna buy it eventually right um the Lebanese cucumbers were on special I will have to look up how much they were but I feel like it was like three dollars something I'll pop it up on the screen once I look it up I don't get paper receipts at Woolworths because I turned that on for a bonus and for environmental reasons and all of that but it's a real pain in the ass when I'm doing these videos so I have to go into my app and turn that off it's a bit annoying I'll also let you know what the lemons were. They were pretty cheap too. I'll pop them on the screen as well. All right, so over to the Asian shop. We got a moju for four nineteen. It's gone up. Uh, we got a rice wine vinegar. Where's my receipt? Here we go. Rice wine vinegar for two eighty nine. I'm getting low on mine. I'm completely out of my gluten free soy sauce. And so I got two of those at $4.69. I go through that pretty quickly. We have some white rice paper. The weevil's gone into my rice paper, which is such a pain in the ass. So I had to buy more and they didn't have the normal. So I had to get the white uh, sesame rice paper, which was $2.89. Um, we're gonna do rice paper rolls one day this week, I think. So I grabbed that. And then I got three lots of hot pot meat. We got a sliced beef, a sliced pork, and a sliced lamb roll and I'm going to do either hot pot or I'm going to do something that I'm not even going to attempt to say the name of but I will pop it up on the screen what it's called but it's a Korean um, Korean roast meat lettuce wrap and I have all of this lovely lettuce so I thought that would be nice a bit of grilled meat a bit of grilled onion some cucumber some veggies all in there I figured that'd be a nice tasty cheap meal and relatively healthy so that's what we're doing this week this is what I've got um, some of this is for this week some of this is for the pantry to be restocked and just because I'm low on things I'm completely out of cheese I'm completely out of gluten-free soy sauce which I need because I use it every single week and I will die if I have normal soy sauce eggs are an every week thing oh I got these ginger nut biscuits which were 110 for my boy he's obsessed with them and they're on special at the moment so I grabbed them for him he loves those and that's it so it was $15.84 at the fruit shop there you go 15.84 it was $49.74.73 at Woolworths, which is ridic looks ridiculous, but you got to remember there's nearly $30 worth of containers there as well as the $15 of turkey and the $7.50 of baking paper, etc. We also have the basics like milk and eggs. I forgot bread. I have to get bread as well. And then the Asian shop came to $38.51, soy sauce, rice uh, paper, rice wine vinegar, and the hot pot meat. So this will probably be two or three meals. This will be a meal. The Kievs will be a meal for everybody but me. I'll just have a salad or something that night. And then I need to pop, get some more bread and pop to the butcher for some chicken breast. And I think... That's everything for this week into next week, minus some extra fruit for school lunches. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, to like, comment, subscribe. Click the little notification bell to be notified when I post new videos, and I will catch you in the next one.